Today I'll be showing you how to test authentication in Foundry. Here I have a simple contract called Wallet and anyone will be able to deposit Ether into this contract. However, only the owner will be able to withdraw Ether locked in this contract. And you can see here that if message.sender calls the function withdrawal, this message.sender has to be the owner of this contract, which is set when the contract is deployed. Also, there's another function called set owner, and obviously only the owner will be able to set the new owner of this wallet. So my question here is, using Foundry, how would we test authentication? How would we test that the current owner of this wallet will be able to set the new owner, and if message.sender is not the current owner, then this function call should fail. How do we test this out? Here I've created a test file called auth.t.so, and we're gonna be writing our test inside here. Now, notice that I've imported the wallet from source wallet, and I have some code to set up this wallet. Declare a state variable wallet, and then when the function setup is called, this function will be called for every test. For each test, a new wallet will be deployed. So first of all, let's write a passing test. I'm gonna open the wallet contract and then split it over to the right, and then close this one. Let's write a passing test for set owner. The current owner of this wallet should be able to set a new owner. That's what we're going to be writing a test for. Okay, so back in our test contract, I'll create a function called function test set owner. This will be public. And then what we're going to call is wallet dot set owner. And then we'll set it to the new owner. Let's say address one. So would this function fail or succeed? Well, the wallet is deployed by this auth test contract. So the owner of the wallet will be this auth test contract. This function wallet set owner will also be called by this contract. And the wallet owner is this contract. So we'll be able to call set owner to a new address to address one. And after we call this function, let's check that the new owner is actually equal to address one. And we do that by typing assert equal. Let's write wallet dot owner should be equal to the new owner address one okay save the file let's try running this test so open my terminal and then type forge test that's that match path test auth dot t dot so and then we'll also put some details for the test so i'll put in maybe three v's v v v run the test and the test is successful so now we have a successful passing test let's write a test for authentication what we're going to test next is we're going to call the function set owner but this time message.sender will not be equal to the owner of the wallet and in that case call to the function set owner should fail how do we write that using foundry this function should fail so i'll name it function test fail not owner public by naming this test as test fail we're telling Foundry that the code inside this function should fail. So what we're going to do is again call wallet.setOwner. But if we were to just do this, then this will be calling the wallet from this contract. Inside the wallet contract, message.sender will be equal to this test contract, alt test, which is the current owner of the wallet. So what we want to do is somehow change message.sender and then call set owner. We can do that by calling the function bm.prank. And then inside here, we have pass in the address that we want to prank. For example, if we say address one, and then we call wallet set owner, then inside the wallet contract, message.sender will be equal to address one. This is because here we're telling Foundry for the next call, for the call to set owner, set message.sender to address one. So we expect the function call to set owner to fail. Let's give it a try. Save the file, open the terminal, execute the test again, and both of our test passes. So this means if the owner calls the function set owner, then it is able to set the owner to a new owner. Otherwise, if the function set owner is called by message.sender that is not equal to the owner of the wallet, then this call to set owner should fail. And these are the two tests that are testing those cases. What happens if you wanted to call a function multiple times using some message.sender? For example, what if we want to call set owner 10 times using the same address one? Then what we will use is called start prank. So let me show you this. I'll create a function 
function test fail set owner again this will be public first we'll set the owner to address one by typing wallet dot set owner to address one now why would this work well because the wallet was deployed by this contract and we're calling set owner from this contract inside wallet the call to set owner message dot sender will be equal to the owner which is this contract the test contract inside the wallet message dot sender will be equal to address this once this call is done the new owner of the wallet will be address one so to be able to call set owner again successfully we'll need to prank as address one let's say that we want to call the function set owner multiple times then what you can do is type vm prank before each call to set owner so what you might do is something like this before each call to set owner call vm prank and set message dot sender for the next call to address one that's what i'm doing here here and here but there is a shortcut so that we can set message dot sender to address one for multiple calls and to do that what we need to do is type vm dot start prank address one and then now we can remove this now for the three calls to set owner, message.sender will all be equal to address1. To stop this behavior so that message.sender will be different from address1, we'll do bm.stopprank. So all calls between start prank and stop prank, message.sender inside the wallet over here will be equal to address1. After you call stop prank, let's call wallet.setOwner again but this time since we called stop prank message.sender inside the wallet when we call the function setOwner message.sender over here will be equal to this testing contract address this so what does this mean at the end of this call the new owner will be address one and here we're calling set owner to address one but message.sender is no longer the new owner the current owner is address one therefore this last call will fail however we named this test as test fail so we're telling boundary that we expect this code inside here to fail what we're saying is we're expecting somewhere in this code there will be an error and we know where the error will be it will be over here since message.sender is equal to address this, but the owner of the wallet will be equal to address one. I'm going to show you this, I'll open my terminal, and then execute the test, and our test passes. So here's the last test, test fail, set up owner again. We told Foundry that we expected this test to fail, and it actually did fail. This means that our test passed. What happens if I remove this last line of code? By doing this, we're checking that up until this last point, our code will execute without any errors. Save the file, and then execute the test again. And our test failed. It expected our last test to fail, but it did not fail. Now, if we uncomment this, we know that the code will not fail over here, but the code fails on the last line. Okay, in this video, I showed you how to test authentication. The simplest way is to type prank. And by doing this, message.sender for the next call will be set to whatever address you put inside here. Or if you want to prank for multiple calls, then you will sandwich your calls between two function calls, start prank, and then stop prank.